Hello everyone. Welcome to Aviation Engineering YouTube channel. So today is the last lessons regarding AT Chapter Twenty Seven, Flight Controls General. This is the lesson number seven. So today I am going to teach you the ECAM page presentation. All right. So uh, if you still not watch the previous videos regarding AT Chapter Twenty Seven, uh, Flight Controls General lesson series, please watch. The videos uh, i will put uh, the link in my description the playlist so you can click and you can watch the from the first video to uh, i mean the lesson number one and then this is the last uh, lesson number seven all right so uh if you are new to my youtube channel i'm kesha vikram singha i'm a professional aircraft maintenance uh, technician so um i made this channel for you uh because uh this is the first channel uh teaching uh specially about training type training lessons so uh if you wish to do a320 family type training in future uh so this channel will be helpful for you and also if you like to learn about aircraft maintenance and airbus family especially so you can get a good idea about uh, how the aircraft works and what are the systems through this channel all right so now we will go to the lesson All right, so this is the uh, last lesson uh, regarding AT Chapter Twenty Seven Flight Controls General. Uh, so this lesson is lesson number seven, ECAM page presentation. Right? Okay. Uh, so let's go to the overview. Overview. Uh, this is the flight control page in the ECAM. Right. So uh, through this lesson, you will identify and interpret the symbols of the electrical flight control system on the related ECAM page. All right. Okay. Now let's go to the lesson content. Uh, number one, spoiler and speed brake. <coughs> and now, sorry, <coughs> sorry. Number two, hydraulic system pressure. Number three, elac and set. Number four, aileron roll spoilers. And number five, ground spoilers. Number six, elevator position. And number seven, pitch trim position. And number eight, rudder position. All right. Okay, let's go to number one, spoiler speed brakes. Okay, you can see the speed brakes and speed brakes over there, right? Okay, so each spoiler and speed brake indicator is green. Okay, each spoiler and uh, speed brake indicator is green when the surface is operative and amber when inoperative. Okay, you can see from here to here the speed brakes and these are the spoilers. Okay, you can see the spoiler deflected by more than 2.5 degrees. Okay, when the spoiler deflected by more than 2.5 degrees, this uh, symbol will appear and this one spoiler refracted. If this one is spoiler refracted and here spoiler fault deflected and here the spoiler fault refracted. Okay, in this situation uh, you can see and this one no information from the surface position. Okay, and now the second one hydraulic system pressure. Okay, hydraulic system pressure in hydrid in the Airbus 320 family they have three hydraulic systems green, blue, yellow. Okay, so <coughs> sorry, the hydraulic system pressure is indication is normally green, right? Hydraulic system pressure indications normally green and become amber when low pressure. There is low pressure in the hydraulic system, and then it will shows amber. Okay, you can see uh, green, blue, yellow in normal condition. <coughs> sorry and the green blue yellow in here the blue actuators are not operative due to hydraulic low pressure and this one green blue you can see the green actuator associated computer is failed if you see this kind of uh, this kind of uh, symbol you can see the green actuator associated computer is fail okay all right and let's go to the elac and sec Okay, elac and sec. You can see in the Airbus they have two elac and three sec. Okay, elac means elevator, uh, ailerons, elevator, elevator and ailerons computer, and sec is a spoiler elevator computer. All right, so the elevator aileron computer and spoiler elevator computer reference numbers are normally green. Okay, you can see the reference numbers normally green and become amber in case of failure. If one is failure, then this number will become amber. Okay, you can see elac one computer is available. Elac one computer is fail, right? Elac elevator aileron computer and sec means spoiler elevator computer. Okay, this is very normal. And next, the aileron roll spoilers. <coughs> aileron roll spoilers. Here is the aileron. Okay, here is the aileron. The aileron's position is indicated, right? The aileron position is indicated by green index, right? The aileron position is indicated by the 
green index on white scale. This is the white scale and this is the green index. They become amber if both actuators are inoperative. In aliens, they have two actuators, right? For the left, blue and green and uh, for the right, uh, green and blue. Okay. So uh, the alien portion is indicated by green index in white scales. They become amber if both actuators are inoperative. Okay. You can see the aerodynamic neutral. This is the aerodynamic neutral and this is the droop position over there there is a droop position okay in droop position i will discuss in later and uh, in normal condition this is the green and white scale and here the both alien and actuators are inoperative this is amber and here the no information from the surface position in this symbol okay and now <coughs> sorry <coughs> uh, because i'm a little bit sick a little bit sick uh, when i do this video so the, now the ground spoilers sorry for the distractions now the ground spoilers okay you can see the ground spoilers uh at landing wheel page appeared at landing at landing the wheel page appeared automatically on the lower ecam ensures the ground spoilers it means if the aircraft is landing uh automatically the wheel page is appeared in the lower ecam right see, here you can see the ground spoilers also activated okay so uh the spoiler deflected by more than 2.5 degrees you can see this symbol and the spoiler retracted is this symbol and spoiler fall deflected and spoiler fall retracted and no information from the surface position okay <clears throat> ground spoilers you can see in the wheel page also now the elevator position here is the elevator okay here is the elevator position so the elevator position is indicated by a green index on the white scale, same like aileron, and they become amber if both actuators are inoperative. Okay, you can see the left elevator and this is the right elevator. This is the uh, white scale and this is the green index. And this is the, the for the left elevator, they have two servos, blue and green. And the right elevator, they have two servos, yellow and blue. Okay, just remember uh, this one, right? Because <clears throat> when I face some interview, so I, they ask me uh, how the the elevator is work so elevator work by uh, two servers for each side uh, blue is common and for the left side the one green and the right side yellow and for the aileron is different because the aileron for the both side they are using green and blue hydraulic system okay just remember this very important question right maybe when you when you when you go to interviews they will ask these kind of questions from you okay because this is very tricky right you can see this is the normal and the both elevator servo jacks are inoperative. Inoperative, you can see this symbol. And this one, no information from the surface position. And next one, the pitch trim position. Pitch trim position. You can see the pitch trim position. So uh, the pitch trim position is normally green. Pitch trim position is normally green. It become amber in case of green and yellow hydraulic system low pressure. Pitch trim position. It become amber in case of green and yellow. Green and yellow hydraulic system low pressure okay green and yellow hydraulic system low pressure the pitch trim inscription you can see the pitch trim inscriptions is normally white and it become amber in case of ths jam right if ths is jam then the pitch trim inscription will become amber okay you can see 3.2 uh, the green is normal and 3.2 degrees up both hydraulic motors is inoperative they have two hydraulic motors green and yellow and uh, no information from the surface position and the pitch trim is THS operative and is the amber THS is jam okay all right so now next one is rudder position you can see the rudder here is the rudder rudder position rudder they have three hydraulic servos uh, green blue and yellow <clears throat> the normal green rudder position indication becomes amber in case of uh, the normally green rudder positions okay these are the green rudder positions uh, position indications become amber in case of low pressure of blue green and yellow hydraulic systems okay you can see the rudder there's a white scale right this is the high sp high speed position fixed symbol over there so uh, the rudder operative rudder limiter this is the rudder limiter high speed position okay uh, we will talk about the uh, rudder limiter uh, in later uh, lessons right so next one uh, here you can see uh, in case of fail three hydraulic system in case of fail case of fail three hydraulic system uh, low pressure and this symbol no information from the surface you can see here the rudder trim reset fail rudder trim reset fail this one will appear okay all right uh, yeah that is the end of this lesson so i think you got a good knowledge about uh, a campage presentation so 
because this one very important you have to know how the symbol works all right so uh, uh, thank you for participating this lesson and uh, uh, this is the end of 80 chapter 27 flight control general lesson playlist so now uh, you can watch the 8027 flight control pitch lesson playlist. So I will upload uh, the lessons regarding the pitch. Uh, okay, so uh, if you're still not subscribed to Aviation Engineering, please subscribe. So it will be a motivation for me because I'm really thankful for the people who subscribe my channel because now almost more than 1000 subscribers. So uh, and also uh, if you watch this video at first, please uh, go to the playlist and watch from the beginning i mean from the lesson one and then you can uh, have a good idea about the general about at chapter 27 flight controls right all right so uh that is the end of this lesson again thank you for watching this series and thank you for stick with k vision engineering and uh, please share these videos and with this channel with your social media platforms especially facebook and uh, twitter instagram anywhere all right so and also share this share this uh, channel and the video with your friends relatives and anyone who like to learn about aircraft maintenance all right so uh, thank you again so let's meet on next lesson have a good day for all of you